Anglo Gold Ashanti has celebrated its first gold par at the Obwasi mine a year after the reactivation of operations. President Ikufuado, who graced the occasion, gave an assurance of government support to help sustain the mine. 14 Anglo Gold Ashanti Obwasi mines shut down under what was termed care and maintenance following a slump in global gold prices and massive encroachment of the mine's concession. Recovery of the once viable mine was also embroiled in the protracted litigation. The reduction that we saw in gold price earlier on, prior to 2014 thereabout, is something that affected everybody in the industry. You know, Boise, even though it affected us, we had other issues that we needed to confront. Um, once we hit the ground running, we introduced the local employment procedure. What the local employment procedure does is to prioritize employment opportunities for, the, for our host communities, the youth in our host communities, which we have done. But the narrative has changed with the injection of capital to resuscitate the mine. The initial capital is between 500 to $550 million over the first several years, and then there'll be sustaining capital beyond that. But, um, but 500 to 550 is, is the number over the first uh, redevelopment phase. In December last year, the revitalized Anglo Gold Ashanti Obwase mine produced its first ounce of gold, celebrating the landmark. The Asantini, represented by Chairman of the Council of State, Dasibro Tuosribo, said it was the dream of Asante Mine to see the mine bounce back. This day marks one of the proudest moments of my 20-year reign on the Golden Zoo. Hand on heart, there are few moments that fill me with greater pride than to see the rebirth of Obwasi gold mine, providing jobs for my people and contributing to the development of our country and our communities. President Ikofado described the resuscitation of the mine as a major achievement of his administration. I'm counting on this mine to pull the adjoining communities out of poverty and enable them to reflect the wealth that their soils have generated. It is thus gratifying to note that beyond its regular corporate contributions, as agreed with Anglo Gold Ashanti Limited, the company will contribute $2 for every ounce of gold produced into a community trust fund over the life of the mine to facilitate development projects in the local communities. About 500 workers, majority of them Ghanaians, have so far been employed bringing the total number of people so far employed by Anglo Gold Ashanti and its contractors to 3,500.